Hey guys, Demetrius here and welcome back to my channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to show you step by step how to build and host a simple e-commerce store for completely free. You will be able to list your products, update them extremely easily. And I will also show you how to add a custom domain to your store, which is the only paid thing, uh, but that's just a small annual fee and it's also completely optional. Now the tools we're going to be using are uh, notion.so, cloudflare.com, and gumroad.com and the the features we we need from these three tools are all free are all part of the their free plans so uh, go ahead and create your accounts with these three services and you're ready to go also don't worry if you don't have any technical experience uh, it's actually quite simple and i will show you every step of the way so i will start by creating my store using notion um, for those of you who don't know what Notion is, it's actually a great tool which allows you to create fully custom workspaces that are hosted online and are extremely easy to edit. And of course, the fact is that Notion is not really a website creator tool by any means. It's a productivity tool. However, it has this really cool feature right here, which allows you to share the pages you create to the web. Or in other words, it allows you to turn the pages you create into websites. So this is the, the feature that's going to make this whole tutorial possible. Now, with the method that I'm going to show you later on, you're also going to be able to attach custom domains to your public Notion pages, uh, which is always a very important element of a website. So uh, here I have an empty Notion page. So I will go ahead and just give my store a title. I'll just name it um, e-commerce store, you know, uh, e-commerce store. And I will keep this very simple, you know, so I don't I don't make this a very long tutorial. I'll just create like a simple gallery here. Um, let's pretend that this is like an uh, uh, th this store sells like uh, digital courses. You know that could be an example of an e-commerce store. So I will create cards here for every product. So I will name this. Um, let's see, social media marketing. So this could be an example course. I will get rid of these properties right here. I don't need them. Um, and then what I'm going to do, I want I want to have like an image here of the course. So I will just add a cover here. And I'll change this cover and upload an image. So I have this image right here. There we go. Waiting for it to load. Actually, no, it's not going to load. I need to um, I need to set this to um, properties. Uh, card preview needs to be the page cover. There we go. Um, yeah, I think that's it. OK, let's have another one. Um, no code master, uh, no code app development. So I went ahead and created uh, four example products right here, for example, courses. So now I'm going to move over to Gumroad, which is the platform I'm going to be using in order to sell these products. Right. So Gumroad is, a, is an e-commerce platform that I highly recommend because it's completely free to get started. They only take a small percentage of your revenue. Um, and later on, you can actually upgrade your, your plan. I think it's like um, $10 per month when you upgrade and uh, you are able to remove that percentage fee and keep all your revenue. So it's a very affordable and a great platform to get started. Uh, and they also collect all the payments for you, right? So uh, you don't have to set up any payment gateways. They actually do it all for you, which is, uh, it just makes it really, really nice. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and create a new product here. Uh, and you're also able to, as you can see here, you're, ab you're, you're able to also sell physical products. It's not just digital. So I'm going to create a classic product. I'm going to name it social media marketing course. I'm going to set the amount to zero for now so we can actually test this. Um, so that's the name of the course. I can add a description. This is an example description. Um, I can change the cover even though it's not really necessary. Uh, I'm going to do that now. 
Um, then the call to action is the actual uh, text on the button, on the buy button. I'm going to change this to buy this. Uh, the summary is uh, some text that goes below the button, you know, so if you want to like uh, just point out some some of the main features of the product, you know, you can do that there. Uh, you can also have additional details and so on. And then the content, because it's a digital product, this is the actual things that the, 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 the customer is going to get, right? So since this is a course, then here is where I would go ahead and upload all the videos of the course. But um, obviously, this is just an example. So I'm just going to upload the same image again for the content. Then here is where I will go ahead and enter the price. I will just enter $1 for now. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to save changes and just publish the course. So now I'm going to get a link, copy URL. So this is the actual product page that Gumroad creates for my product, right? So I can send this to anyone and they will just go ahead and click on this button. And this is where they will uh, enter their credit card information. Since this is a, uh, this is my store, um, it just creates like a test card for me. But for an actual customer, it will ask them to enter their credit card information there. Um, okay, but now I actually want to add this to my Notion page because this is gonna be my actual store. This is where I can uh, fully customize the way that my products are displayed uh, and do whatever I want. So what I wanna do is just copy this link, this product page link, go to my Notion page, click on the product, to open the actual uh, product page I created here, and then just paste this link. Now here I get a couple of options. The one I want is the create embed option. So as you can see, this creates the same thing I was getting on this product page, right? All the same elements. So if I click here, there we go, I get the same checkout form. Now the problem with this embed right here is that I'm getting the same elements I already have on my Notion page. So I have the same cover image. I have the 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 course title that I already have on my Notion page. So there's so many duplicate elements that I want to be able to get rid of. And Gumroad doesn't allow you to get rid of these elements very easily. You actually need to uh, use some code that I'm going to share with you in a second. Um, but yeah, the idea is that I want to be able to customize my product page entirely using Notion. You know, I don't want to rely on Gumroad. The only thing I need from Gumroad is the actual buy button, right? So I want to get rid of everything else except from the buy button. So what I need to do is go to my Gumroad store here. I'm going to go to profile. And I'm going to click on the style option. Now here you get a box called custom CSS. And here is where you need to paste some code that I'm going to share with you. As you can see, I already done the hard work of finding this code, basically constructing this code. Um, and all you got to do is just copy and paste it into this box. I'm going to share all this with you um, below this video. I'm going to put a link to where you can get access to it. So as you can see here, everything is labeled. So this code right here, removes everything except the buy button. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this and just paste it there. Save changes. So now if I go back to Notion and reload the page, as you can see, it got everything except from the buy button, right? Then I also have some other code for you below this that removes specific elements. So let's say you, you want to get rid of the image, you want to get rid of the, the product name, but you want to keep the price, you know, you can just add these two pieces of code in this box. And also the I'm going to add, I'm going to add these two as well. This removes the creator and this removes the uh, gray background. So I'm going to add those two. So the only one that's um, that I haven't removed is the um, uh, the price, right? So I should get the price and the buy button now. There we go. And also get the description. Um, okay, I will make sure that I also add the code to remove the description right there. So on the on the file that you're going to get access by clicking on the link below this video, I'm also going to include the code to remove the description, right? 
But for now, I actually want to get rid of everything except from the buy button. So I'm going to go back to my Gumroad store, remove everything and paste that code. Save changes, reload the Notion page. And there we have it. So now here I can go ahead and edit my description. You know, I can I can have anything I want, you know, so I can have an H2 element for the price, let's say. So um, $30, you know, I can I can make this red if I want, you know, so you get far more um, customization flexibility with Notion. So I went ahead and copied some example text from a, a, a Udemy social media course I found here. Uh, so this is what it could look like when you add all your uh, description, you know, you can add your tables, um, break down every chapter, you know, if you're selling a course, there's just so many things you can do with Notion, you know, it's uh, your your imagination is literally the limit. And then at the end, we have the buy button, right? So uh, I hope you get the idea. So then you would go ahead and uh, let's go back to the home page. There we go. Uh, and then you would go ahead and do the same exact process with every single one of these. So you would go to your Gumroad store, you would create a new product, uh, you would obtain the, uh, the, the, the link, the URL that Gumroad generates for you, you would paste that to your Notion, um, uh, sorry about that, you would paste that to your Notion, to, to the products to, to the products page on Notion. Um, and then with all the other product, you don't, you don't actually need to repeat the, the code. The code will apply to every single one of your products, right? So you only need to do the code part once, right? This style is gonna apply to all your products. So now if I wanna make this e-commerce store page public, all I need to do is just click on share and share to web. Um, and I'm just, this is, this right here is the link, right? So I'm going to copy this link. I'm going to open a new window and there we have it. That's my store. Now at this point, the store is actually ready to go. You know, you can go ahead and share this link with anyone you want. Uh, they will go through the store, select the product they want, uh, read through the description, click on the buy button, fill out the form, uh, and make the purchase, you know, so everything is good to go. However, I know for many of you, this is not really a, a link that you would want to share with your customers. You know, it looks it looks quite ugly. So um, if you want, you can actually attach a custom domain uh, to your to your Notion page right here. And I have created a full tutorial. This is actually uh, my most popular video on my channel where I teach you exactly how to add a custom domain to a public Notion page. So I'm going to put a link to this video um, under this one. Um, and you can go through the, the process. It's quite simple, actually. And um, it's going to teach you exactly how to add a custom domain to your page. And then on this video right here, I take things a step further. And I actually uh, make, the, make the, the links even prettier, right? So uh, feel free to go through that as well. And then on this one right here, <laughs> as you can see, I've made three videos about this method because um, many people have requested it. Uh, on, this, on this video right here, I teach you how to add a subdomain. So a subdomain is something like um, uh, store.dimitris dot com right so dimitris.com is the domain and then store is the subdomain so if that's something you're looking for uh this video will teach you how to do that so i will put links to all, all these videos in the description and uh feel free to go through them um and add custom domains to your store so there we have it guys we have managed to create a simple e-commerce store that is free to host right so you're not going to have any monthly fees um and it's also very easy to edit, right? It's all, um, you can edit everything through your, uh, through your Notion account, 
right? So uh, I really hope you found this tutorial useful. Let me know in the comments below if you have any suggestions, anything else you want to see. Um, if you want to, if you want me to make another video with more improvements to this store. So some of the the things I can I can think of right now is uh, I could take this store even further by adding uh, like a proper home page and then maybe like a categories page uh, with uh, with some filtering options. You know, th there's quite a lot of stuff we can do. So let me know in the comments below if you have any suggestions and uh, subscribe to this channel if you want to stay up to date with all my latest tutorials and videos and I will see you on the next one.